What's up my darlings, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. So last time we discovered that the Reapers were turning our Dark Yakshi into Banshees. It was horrible. Um, no thank you. I mean, we got to see Samara, so some good came out of it, but my god, those things are horrifying. No thank you. Thankfully, we got to wind down the day, spending time with some of our crewmates. We made things official and basically you hauled with Liara. Even though she barely acknowledged my presence afterwards, you know what, it's fine. I still love my fiance. <laughs> then we hung out with Garrus. We had a nice dinner with Caden. Lots of wholesome times. It was a very nice way to decompress from all the horrors that we witnessed. Today, Miss Trainer has asked us to help her with a mission. So that's what I wanna kick off with. Beyond that, I don't really know where else we're gonna end up. I mean, we have lots of things to check off the list. So let's start with Trainer and see where the day takes us. Grab yourself a drink or a snack, get cozy, and let's get to it. So Trainer has some scientists on the line who are ex-Cerberus who now apparently want to come over from the dark side and help us out. Of course, we're a little skeptical, but you know what? As Shepard said, we need all the help we can get right now, so... All right, my darlings, let's get into it and boop that any button. Boop. <laughs> Oh, I'm still on the Citadel. I didn't even go back to the Normandy yet. This place is chaotic. Meanwhile, in the background, the Solarian's pointing to the TV and probably explaining to the three women with him what's happening on the television. And then there's the Armaturian just hanging out. I do have to say in three in particular, there is so much happening at once in terms of sound. Like, I'm usually pretty good at following stuff that's happening in the background, even if I don't vocally say it out loud. But in this game, there's like the announcer, there's conversations. I feel like there's a lot of stuff I'm missing because stuff is like overlapping so much. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. Yeah, this is one we were doing last time, Batarian Codes. So Jordan Knowles has requested assistance tracking illegal use of Batarian diplomatic codes. Okay, so we have to check the Spectre terminal. Yeah, let's do it. So there's a console here by Bay E28. Whee! Hello, everybody. I'm back. How's it going? Hey, it's these two again. Okay. Hi. Aside from me. It's not that. I'm fine. Ah, I see. No. They just. Their shuttle must be real slow, that's all. Aw, oh, she's starting to lose hope. They promised they'd come and get me, no matter what they had to do. It's been so long. I don't know, kid. I'm sure they'd be happy. Ooh. Aww. I miss them. I miss them so much. Aww. I appreciate that this Turian's here for her. She seems to be, like, really having a hard time, poor thing. Oh, it's so sad. Right, I'm gonna keep looking. I don't believe it. Hi, James. You still gambling, sweetie? Okay, have fun. Ta-ta. <laughs> Console! Boop. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Oh, hello. Balak. How's it going? You've killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. Oh, it's that guy. I'm waiting for this. <gasps> Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. Wait, hang on. Oh, wait, hang on. I was hoping he'd pull a Conrad. Hey, hey, you. You're under arrest. <laughs> I'll never get over Conrad trying to arrest somebody with zero qualifications to do so. I mean, I'm gonna say why blame me just to flesh out the conversation. I think it's fairly obvious, but you know, I gotta ask. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Right? Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Dang. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the oh, Reapers no. Our own people betrayed us. 
Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on Allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh man, gotta love it. Mass Effect 3, all my previous choices coming back to haunt me. I feel like blame yourselves would be a bad thing to say with a gun pointed to my head, so I'm gonna say blame the Reapers. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. I mean, true. They are a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. Jeez. I can't save my people. Oh, no, no, no. But I can end you. Oh, my God. Okay, look at these choices. Join us. You need me. Kill him. Kill him. The interesting thing is that when awful things happen to people, a lot of times people need somebody to blame. Right? They need someone to blame. And obviously Shepard is the one that stopped him specifically and yes stopping him did lead to events happening but everything the reapers did is not because of shepherd they were going to do those things anyway and also they've been doing terrible things to every single race not just the batarians it's it's devastating obviously but he needs somebody to blame and to put all his anger towards and that person is shepherd i am curious how i would kill him just like suddenly pull out my gun and turn around like how would i pull that off i mean it is devastating unfortunately the batarians are one of the few races that have really been wiped out already other groups seem to be surviving still but the batarians just really got annihilated my question is is that if i say join us is he gonna come on the ship this guy that like really hates me and resents me do i want him where i'm sleeping at night <laughs> or do I want to say you need me? He better not take Thane's room because that's Thane's room and leaving it as a shrine to him. Nobody touch it or I'll throw you out the airlock. It's so easy to just make Shepard the villain. It's like you're the one that started this chain of events when really he's just salty that I stopped him. And then also add to that that most of his people have been wiped out. It's devastating. People need to put their anger somewhere. As much as I would love to have a Batarian crew make, I think it would be hilarious. I feel weird saying join us when this guy has just pointed a gun to me <laughs> and is incredibly resentful of me. Meanwhile, we're just standing here in the middle of the citadel with a gun pointed at me. <laughs> James can see from here. Is James going to come over and just whack him in the back of the head? The other thing I could do is just wait for his arm to give out <laughs> from an arm cramp. So, uh... How's your day going? You getting tired of listening to that baby crying? You gonna drop that gun now? You got good arm strength, my guy. I mean, I could very easily just nicely say join us, but I don't like the way this guy came at me. Yeah, I'm gonna go renegade on this one just to see what happens. You need me, bruh. You're not gonna pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. I mean. Yes, forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And what does that solve? Wipe out the last of your warships, the last of your people. How will that help? And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could kill you. I could do it right now. In front of all these people? Ah! Smart move. Ooh. Oh Shepherd, snap! Are you all right? Oh no! <laughs> you won't have any more trouble with those codes. <laughs> Is that? Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Oh my god! Oh Let my him go. God. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Whoa! Oh, I got five renegade points for that. Yay, we got the Batarian flee under really awkward and uncomfortable circumstances. I like that the renegade just continued, like, in a casual conversation. She was like, well, I want to put a bullet in his head, but I'm not going to. I guess we all have to make sacrifices. Oh, my God. 
That was brutal. Oh man, I don't know if I could do a full Renegade playthrough. I don't know if I'd have the stomach for it. I like how that girl was just witnessing the whole thing. She would have witnessed me get shot. And when he's very far away, she's like, are you okay? <laughs> A renegade option at this point makes sense because quite frankly, I've had it with everybody's shenanigans. Like, I really don't have time for all this. So a little bit of sass is gonna come out every now and then, you know? I'm surprised how begrudgingly he was like, uh, fine, and just like walked off. <laughs> it's like, fine, I guess our ships are yours. It would have been cool to see the guy look around and see James pointing a gun at him, Garrus with a sniper over there. Like, it would have been really funny. That was a nice change of pace. Anyways, thanks everybody who's armed here for not assisting me not getting shot. I'm glad I handled that myself because he's just pointing his gun casually during the conversation. What is he doing, sir? Don't just be pointing your gun willy-nilly. It's not an accessory to accentuate your conversation. It's a weapon, sir, okay? Thanks for not helping back there, by the way. I really appreciate it. <sighs> it's hard to find good help these days. It's probably not the worst thing they've seen on the Citadel. Are there any Citadel things that don't require me to go off gallivanting into space. Citizens on the Citadel are preparing to carry out some sort of assassination at the CSEC office in the Presidium Commons. Go there and look for suspicious activity. Ooh, shall we be nosy and look for suspicious activity? I mean, yeah, we can go stop an assassination from happening. That sounds like a good way to spend our time. Whee! To the Presidium Commons. Out of my way, everybody. I have important things to do. Why are these people? What's happening? Sir, are you okay? He looks like he's gonna throw up. These people look very upset. Meanwhile, this guy's ch <laughs> chilling <laughs> to the max. Did you drag those over here so you could use them as a footrest? I appreciate your dedication to the cozy life. Excuse me! Excuse me! <laughs> Beep! Out of my way. Out of my way. What if Shepard was running through the Citadel yelling, I'm stopping an assassination attempt out of my way. Boop and boop. Spectre status recognized. Thank please you. Destination. Thank you. Goodbye. Moment, Thank you. It never gets less weird. Everybody stay calm. Everything's fine. There's just an assassination happening. Please stay calm. Take deep breaths. Stay exactly where you are. Don't panic. <laughs> Can somebody put these fires out, please? How long have they been going now? For the love of God. <laughs> Fire extinguishers are a thing, please. Wee. All right, I've got to look for suspicious activity. This guy looks suspicious. Hello. I'm in a mood today. Hello. Is anyone being suspicious? This is very suspicious. Sir, are you incognito? Are you going to assassinate somebody? Because you look like you're trying to use this ATM machine and it is very clearly sparking in your face. You're not fooling me, sir. I'm watching you. Next. <laughs> hmm. Hello. Who's being suspicious around here? Anyone? Hmm. Hello, sir. How are you? I get excited every time I see this plume of smoke because I'm like, is somebody barbecuing? And can I have some? This guy's still here. That's kind of suspicious. Everyone is sus until I say otherwise. Um, sir, are you okay? This guy's looking at the, the ground. Okay, anyways. Who's being suspicious? Speak now or forever hold your pee. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Because I'll catch you. If anything, I'm being the one being suspicious. Hello, sir. How are you? Okay, suspicious activity. I don't see anything too suspicious. Oh, oh, who's this guy? Investigate. Ooh, 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 ooh. This guy's sitting on a couch. Very suspicious. Boop. <laughs> Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Ta-da. Come on. I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. <laughs> I like this Aaron guy. Summers. Alliance Marines, retired. Hello. Captain Summers. There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup. Good people. Okay. He's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. 
interesting. Uh, so we have, you're better than this. Why is murder justified? Let me do it legally. <laughs> wow. Walk away, go ahead. So I can either take care of it myself legally, or I can just say, yeah, go for it. I don't care. I mean, I'm not going to say why is murder justified. That's a whole can of worms. I don't want to open. I'm just going to say you're better than this, my guy. You gun that man down. You're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. And you'll go to prison. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. I mean, that is a good Says point. Who? Our superiors, the people we swore to serve and trust, Captain Summers. Ooh. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. Oh, sh I'll shut it down. Thanks. That was... That was a lot easier than I thought. I did not think he was going to be willing to let that go. <laughs> I fixed it. Hello, how are you? Anyways, as you were. I like how selective I can be with my spectre status. I can, like, shame other people for making decisions that I would make in other situations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Back to the journal. What else do we have? Oh, you know what? Adams requested a GX-12 thermal pipe to make the Normandy's engines safer. I did tell him when I was on the Citadel I would get one for him, so let's go find it. Hello. Let's go shopping! Adams needs a new thermal pipe. That's all he wants for Christmas. Luckily, we've got several shops to choose from. Shoot smart. Shoot. No Sastra. <laughs> Love that. Well, they don't have it here, so let's go on to the next one. Hello. Boop. Hello. All right, these are all weapons. I don't think they're going to have it either. All purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. How does it go towards helping them? Does it go towards the military budget? Because if it's anything like in real life, they have a lot of money. <laughs> so... I don't think I'm going to find it here because these are all weapons. So, oh god, they're all talking to me at once! Uh, hello Liara, are you going to say anything else to me? Are you guys ready for our deep, meaningful conversations? Hello Shepard. <laughs> yes! I would expect no less from the person I told I want to spend the rest of my life with, but you know, it's all good. Oh! Ooh, there's a Model Alliance Dreadnought. Boop. And a Model Alliance Fighter. Yoink. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. I mean, I appreciate that marketing. Truth. Facts. Alright, let's look up here. I'm fairly certain there's more shops this way direction. Oh, Udina died. What a shame. We're all just heartbroken. <laughs> We don't worry, everybody. I thwarted the assassination. Everybody as you were. There's some broken glass everywhere. What a mess. Jogging round the citadel like it's my job, because it kind of is. Hello, everybody. Boop. To Ooh, let's see. We've got some scopes, armor. To offer goods <gasps> for security. Oh, I can... <gasps> I can buy jellyfish for my fish tank. Oh my God, I'm buying it right now. Oh my God. Jellyfish? It's a strong heart. Yes. Priorities. Thank you. I didn't listen to a word you said, but thank you anyway. <laughs> E-gel thermal conduit. Oh, that's the thing I need. You know what? It has a different name than it did in the journal, so I wasn't sure. Okay. We found the thing that Adams needs. Yes. Boop. Keeping my engineer happy. It's a joyous day. Woohoo! All right, back to the journal. What else can we do? Ooh, a message from Primarch Victus implicates Volus Ambassador Din Korlak as a possible Cerberus informant. Investigate the ambassador at the Presidium embassies. Should we do this one next? All right, let's go to the embassies and take care of this. We are cleaning up, taking care of business today. I feel very successful. Hello, everyone. I'm back. How's it going? It's gonna do a lap and then go investigate this sneaky guy. Hello, sir. I'm back to active duty and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neota spouse, correct? Oh, it's these two again. Yes. How did you know that? 
We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. Nice! Wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I, I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Oh. Oh. It says outside of five there's an embassy guard. All right, we're going all the way to the other side. Wee! Hi, Elcor friend. I love you. You're so cute. Hello there. Hi. Was Oop. the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Thank you. Appreciate you. I'm ready now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. It's quiet. Too quiet. Ooh, here we go. Play entry one. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Ooh, Has the shade. Changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. Mm. We ask that you trust us a little longer. I already don't trust this person. I don't even know who it is. <laughs> All right, entry two. You people are monsters. Ah, you're learning. Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. Uh oh. that accomplished now. The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus, it's left you in an interesting position. Mm -hmm. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. That they would probably enact, I, I guess. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. You did terrible things, so now we can blackmail you or just wipe you off the face of the earth. All right, entry three. Where does this go? <sighs> The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. <laughs> I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's find it. Zaid? Oh, man! <laughs> I was not expecting Gadam Zaid to show up. Gadam, what are you up to? I mean, it is his bread and butter. It's what he's done for a long time. It's not surprising. I'm just surprised that this is how we're running into him. All right, let's look for this. Let's look for the tracker. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, ooh, there's a bug. Oh, there's a bug. Oh my god, that's so funny. How long till we killed Korlak? Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. None of your goddamn business. <laughs> this is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Oh, he's not dead. Uh, I thought he was dead. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. I thought he was dead. Okay. He's very much alive still. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? Now you know my name all of a sudden. Good question.
question. It just came to me. You know? Luck. <laughs> I was wondering when we'd run into Zaid again. And now he's up to this. Is he up here? Oh, oh, oh. He is up here. Is he? Damn. Wrong door. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Let's try the other side. Me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. <laughs> Shit. All right, I'm listening. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Hello, Zaid. How are you, sweetie? Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. What's up, dude? <laughs> Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Hi, dude. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. He's back. Where's Korlock? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Are you injured? Did those marks hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Which colony is it? Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. Oh no. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. <laughs> Zaid is not having it. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I know, right? I can offer a bargain. Uh huh. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. I mean, I'd like to save the colony as well. Or you can give us both. Thank you. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. Beat him, Zaid. Oh no! I would say Zaid is not your muscle, but we all know Zaid's the muscle. We can say you're better than this, or we can have Zaid just beat him up. Wow! I want the colony safe. I'll take the bombers. I mean, I don't want to beat this guy for no reason. I'm gonna say you're better than this. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Yeah. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. Yes, that's what's gonna happen. I can't. You can. And you Wasting will. everyone's time trying to appeal to our Volus's better nature, Shepard. <laughs> Aphis. The colony's oh. name is Aphis. Phew. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. Yes! I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. Yes, that's what we'll call it, an incident. You have my thanks. He's like, I'm probably not going to be alive much longer, but thank you. <laughs> Zaid, what are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Oh, I definitely like. I definitely will catch up with you, Zaid. All right, I'm gonna get out of here too, because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> All right, he said he's at the dock, so I feel like we're not finished with Gadam, Zaid. We need to finish this conversation. Gadam, we're not finished. We need to chat. We need to catch up, my dear. Where is he? There he is. Gadam, Zaid. You looking at nothing. Nothing. Oh. He was talking to him. I was talking to me. Hello. Hi. I figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. <laughs> I can always use more help. Yes. Uh, I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't yes. Them, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Yes, goddamn coming through with the what help. Those people you were with. Bunch of mercs from Omega. 
Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Nice. The job longer. <laughs> all right. Well, this was a, a jolly reunion. I guess that's all we have to say to Zaid. I like his outfit, by the way. Zaid, it was a pleasure running into you in a very strange way. Uh, you stay safe out there, my friend. Got him. <laughs> Yay, Zaid! It was nice to catch up, see that much hasn't changed <laughs> with Garam Zaid. Initially, I thought that Zaid was going to be the one to kill him or something, like we were going to go head to head, but I'm glad that it didn't end badly for either of us. Let's go give Adams his thermal pipe and then go and help train her with her mission. Goodbye, everybody. I've been on the Citadel for quite a while now. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Please enjoy the pre-recorded footage of the Citadel not on fire. To the Normandy! Wee! Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy Ooh. crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. Uh-oh. He sent me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor. Ma'am. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> Get him out of there. To the Normandy. I have unread messages. That was weird. Her voice didn't play. Thank you, trainer. Ooh, from Cortez. Met some old friends at Citadel Memorial. Shepherd. After you left the refugee memorial, I met an old friend who was helping out colonists with logistics. She and her buddies are ex-Alliance pilots, damn good ones, who left the service to build a life on the frontier. They're homeless now, and when I told them about the forces being collected, they were eager to join. I've attached their contact information to forward to Hackett. Hopefully they can help. Thanks again for helping me through this. I'm feeling good. I think maybe I'll hit Purgatory next trip to the Citadel. Want to join me for some drinks? Steve, absolutely, Cortez. I would love to join you for drinkies. Ooh, I leveled up. I'm level 47 now. Hello. <laughs> Hi. All right, Adams, I have a present for you. Boop. Oh, no, I went to the shuttle bay. Oops. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know. Mako? Oh, come on. Mako? The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Mako? Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. Mako! So. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility <laughs> whatsoever. Drunk oh, rhino? That can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. These no, two. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. Oh. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. Oh. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> I love it. You would love bears, says Cortez. Well, while I'm here, I might as well chat to them. Hello. Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel Aww. better. Everything's so much clearer now. You're welcome. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Mm-hmm. I know, right? Hi, James. How are you, sweetie? Hanging in there. Okay. That's cute. Let's <laughs> <That's> chill. <laughs> Bye, kids. You be good now. Boop. All right, for realsies this time. To engineering. Boop. Adams, I got you a prezi. Boop. Hello. Boop. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. You're welcome. Forming the modifications right now. Yes. Who did I get volunteered to crawl through the duct? You're the power <laughs> control engineer, not me. <laughs> Oh my god. Amazing. Alright, sounds good, my dude. Glad you're happy. Ooh, let's go to my cabin and see my new fish. I want to see my new jellyfish and my stripy ones. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, look at the jellyfish! Oh my god, they're so cute! Look at this amazing 
aquatic display that I have. Very impressive. I'm saving the whole universe and I still have time to have this beautiful display in my cabin. Very proud of my fish. Look at that. So pretty. I'm pleased. There's a lot of fish in there. Hi, Lucifer. Hi. Bye, Lucifer. Array, ex-Cerberus scientists. A group of top-level scientists have cut ties with Cerberus and are fleeing their former employer. Rescue the scientists before Cerberus can find them. Let's do it. To the map. Hi, trainer. Commander. Hello. Boop. Goodbye, Citadel. I will see you very soon, I'm sure. Whee! Boop. Do, 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 do. No, I'm not going to go speak with the Corians yet as much as I really, really want to. So the question is, where is this mission? Ooh, here we go. Minus Wasteland. Find Exerberus scientists. Boop. And there's going to be Reapers waiting for us. Hooray! Alrighty then, here we go. Galax, find Exerberus scientists. I don't think I've seen this one before, so I'm going to read the description. Galax was given to the Krogan after the Rachni Wars, but bitterly contested in the Krogan Rebellions and reconquered by the Turians. This left the Turians as caretakers to a levo-amino acid-based world that they could not inhabit themselves but were unwilling to give up. In cooperation with the Vol Protectorate, the Turians attempted to rent the planet out for colonization. Between the high price and a surface littered with unexploded ordnance, however, <laughs> Gelix found few reputable tenants. Its most notable inhabitants were penal colonies. To those who know of it today, Gelix is a symbol of tragic waste, an entire garden world nearly forgotten by the galaxy at large. Let's land. I feel like since Liara is a scientist, maybe we should bring her. And we haven't had our little potato out on a mission yet. Ooh, we are, actually, you know what? We haven't brought Edie in a while. I'd be curious to see how Edie and Caden would work together. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's do that. Let's do Edie. It's been a minute since we've had her in the group. And our potato is back in action. Spectre Caden. Let's go. I'm feeling pretty good. Caden, I think. Let's see if we can give him a good assault rifle here. This one looks pretty good, the Matlock. Let's add some mods to it really quick. Let's do the precision scope and the. Let's increase shot penetration. All right. How is his heavy pistol looking? I have no idea what he has equipped. I'm giving him a scorpion too. <laughs> I just really like the scorpion. I think it looks cool. Let's increase the accuracy and more shots before reload. I still can't get over my lovely visor accessory. I think it really just accentuates my whole look. So Shepard has 11 points available. Ooh, I'm going to level up Assault Mastery all the way. Rank 6 has increased shotgun damage by 15% or increased power damage bonus by 25% and increased power duration and force by 25%. I'm doing that one. That's the one. And I think I'll save the rest of my points for next time. Edie, my darling, you're lovely. She has 14 points available. I think I want to level up Incinerate to rank 5. We have either increased damage by an additional 40% over 8 seconds or increased recharge speed by 25%. I'm going to increase damage because <laughs> burning damage just sounds amazing. I think I'm also going to level up... Ooh, do I want to do Overload or Unshackled AI? I think I want to do Unshackled AI. Level 5 has increased weapon damage by 20% or increased tech power by 30%. I'm trying to figure out which... I feel like Edie uses her tech damage more than her weapons. I think I'm going to increase her tech power damage. Yeah, I think that's a good one. And I'll save the rest of her points for later, Hosen. Caden, hello! Oh my goodness, he has 35 points. We're making him super ultra OP potato. <laughs> Let's do 
barrier to level four. We can increase the damage force and radius of the detonation by 30%, or we can decrease damage taken by 5%. I'm gonna do blast effect, not to be confused with mass effect. I'm gonna level up Reeve to level four. We can either increase power duration by 40% or increase impact radius by three meters. Mm, let's increase power duration. I'm gonna level up Overload to level four. We can either hit one additional target within eight meters with 60% less damage or increase damage by 30%. I'm gonna increase damage. And I'm gonna level up Cryoblast a couple times because I feel like it. Then I'm gonna level up Alliance Officer to rank five. We can increase biotic power damage by 30% or increase tech power damage by 30%. I'm gonna do biotic power damage. You know what? I'm gonna level up Cryoblast to rank four, increase power duration by 60%, increase impact radius by two meters. Let's do impact radius on that one. And then last but not least, I think I'm gonna give him full Alliance Officer. Rank 6 has increased squadmate tech and biotic power damage by 10% or increased recharge speed of squadmate shields by 15. I'm going to do shields. Nice. All right, let's get it. Here we go. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not a while. provided many details. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Thank you, Cortez. Engaging the scientists? What? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Yay! Set us down and get out of here. I need these scientists alive. And you, Cortez. Protect Cortez at all costs. <clears throat> oh, it looks absolutely freezing. Leave them alone, bruh. You guys aren't very good shots. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you better not. Ooh. Oh, dude. Oh my god, it's Jacob. Oh my god, it's Jacob. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, he got shot. Jacob, already? Dude, we just saw him again and he got shot in the stomach. Oh no. Well, good try, buddy. Good try. It's <laughs> freezing. It is freezing. Amazing. I'm gonna have Caden equip his assault rifle. Edie, I'm gonna have you do your scorpion. Bring this down on their heads. We can't hold them much longer. Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. I'm just recovering from the fact that, that Jacob is here. I was not expecting this today. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He's barely been here like 30 seconds and he got shot in the stomach. I mean, that's that's quite a womp. I really appreciate the fact that most other characters have kind of had this badassery with their entrances and with their re-entrances. <laughs> and Jacob's is getting shot. In the stomach. <laughs> oh my god, poor guy. He just can't win. Like, that was his contribution. Was like, I fired a few bullets, now I got shot, and now I'm laying here looking worried. Gee, I hope someone comes to save me. He was trying to save somebody. I appreciate that. He's really trying. It's just like, the levels have been set for like, oh, it's our old crewmate. And Jacobs is just, just such a womp. The poor guy. I mean, he tried to help somebody. We appreciate him for that. I mean, I think Jacob's got this, right, guys? Should we just, should we go? I think Jacob's, I think Jacob's got this. He's fine. Well, while we're standing around laughing about the fact that Jacob exists now, these people are dying. So let's go help them, shall we? All right, Jacob, don't worry. We're coming, dude. Oh God, he's gonna freeze to death out here. It's so cold. Hello, can I actually help you? Can I reach them from here? I can. <laughs> Where is Jacob hiding? Oh, the bullets are flying. The bullets are flying. Hello, how are you? 
Oh, 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 we gotta get over there. We gotta get over there. Oh, 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 oh. Shepard, for God's sake, stop doing flips and get your little butt over there. Let's go. Quick. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Gotcha. Hi. They're just descending from the ceiling. I love it. Hi. Can I help you? Oh, no. Ooh. Enemy neutralized. Look for survivors. Hello? All right. Hello? <laughs> Jacob! <laughs> Jacob, where is he? Well, I don't see any survivors, guys. I think we can go. <laughs> what if Shepard takes way too long to find him and he just freezes to death? Oh, there he is! <laughs> hey, Jacob. What's up, dude? How bad? He's back. I'll live. I think. Oh, that's not a good place to get shot, though. He can't even reach his... I thought she was going to step Commander on Shepard it. Of the, Alliance. the enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. He's all right. Bryn? Does Jacob have a girlfriend? Okay, do tell. Let's get out of this freezing coldness. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. Wow, is he the only survivor? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Well, are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Oh no. Yeah, I'll walk it off. <laughs> walk it off. I'll save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Shut. Dude, you can't this walk off a stomach cold. bullet wound. Hello, Tell nice to meet on. you. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Please tell me you actually want to defect. <laughs> if we hadn't run, we'd be dead. He's standing there, like, hunched over like this. Jacob, go sit down. <laughs> sit down, my dude. Okay, I need more information about this ex-Cerberus thing. I know we're weary of Cerberus people, but let's get more info. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different. He wants to kill nonsense. everybody, apparently. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Running was smart, running took guts. Running took guts. You kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. <laughs> I'm glad I said that. Destroyed what we couldn't. Nice. We had to know they were gonna find you. These scientists are badass. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Can you sit? <laughs> I don't want you to bleed to death, my guy. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. He Might sounds like he's thing. yelling in a I'll different check. conversation. Are you making him walk upstairs? I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Can someone carry him up the stairs? This may be an opportunity to surprise him. Oh, I want to see that. Oh, I want to see that. <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry. Oh. I not want to come here with these people. It was his idea. I do without him. Sorry to interrupt. Would you like to check? Are you crazy? We're all gonna die here. Well, this is a positive bunch. Hello. It wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Commander Shepard will make sure of it. I know you haven't met me yet, but I keep my word. Let's go up the stairs we just made. Oh, rip to that guy. Let's go up the stairs we just made, Jacob walk up with his bullet wound hello Ooh. how are you dr archer sterling archer dr gavin archer. oh i was joking that he was british that's one way of putting it Ooh. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to grissom academy i tried putting all that behind me. oh my god it's this guy i've heard rumors the academy is in trouble oh i'm glad we didn't shake his hand Ooh, I'm glad we didn't shake his hand. Ooh, it's this guy. Well, this piece of garbage is still alive. 
a bunch of brilliant scientists were killed, but somehow this guy manages to survive. It's fine. Should I tell him David is safe or let him worry? Ooh. Truthfully, I feel like he doesn't deserve anything. Um, he doesn't deserve my time, my oxygen, the conversation we're having. He doesn't deserve it. I mean, I feel like part of him cares about David. I also don't want him to have any idea where David is so he can take advantage of him. So I'm very tempted to just let him worry. Part of me is like, would David want him to know he's okay? I definitely feel like there should be a third option of just ignore him and leave. But unfortunately, I feel like letting him worry is kind of vindictive because obviously he doesn't deserve anything, even the oxygen I'm breathing. But I feel like I will, uh, you know, what? I'm going to go with my God, David's safe. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. That means my deluded what dream is still alive. Safety now. I'm still delusional. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're yes. right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. Good. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. All right, let's investigate. I don't want to give this guy the time of day, but like, why are you here? here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. People that don't so know anything about you, that's smart. For doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. I don't care. <laughs> Not a monster who tortured his own brother. Well, that's how we're all gonna remember you, so. Good luck with that. I mean, good for him for, like, recognizing he was a monster and wanting to do something about it, I guess, because he got caught. And I mean that with all the shade in the world. Um, but he's trying to better himself now, I guess, or at least make himself not seem like a monster to other people. So I guess good on him for making that effort. If he hadn't been caught by me, though... Yeah, you want to believe that anyone can redeem themselves, right? You would hope. Elusive man. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? Uh, if it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Oh yeah, he's definitely Every after him. Every soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, uh, the, that's, uh, that's unfortunate, my guy. There are people who get very carried away, especially when they're given a lot of power, like unlimited resources, unlimited money. There are people that that will corrupt them, absolutely. Like if they are able to get away with these things, they don't have limits. And maybe it was a case of once all these things have been taken away from him, including his brother, he realized how awful he had been and now he wants to do right or he's literally hiding from Cerberus and he's here because he has a good hiding place who knows what his actual intentions are but he also can't continue to do what he's doing because he doesn't have Cerberus resources and money so while there is no way to really redeem yourself for what you did to David because the only thing who can give you any crumb of forgiveness on that is David that's not my place to forgive him or like do any of that that's all for for david but the level of what he did was atrocious awful monstrous he admits that he's a monster and it's it's even scarier to think that he only stopped because he got stopped by me if i hadn't stopped him he would have continued tormenting his brother. I do appreciate the fact that he is trying to put good into the world now. That's a good use of his time. It does not negate or erase the horror that he inflicted on his brother. His brother did not need to go through that. I feel like a lot of monstrous stories like this start out with somebody who has good intentions and thinks they're doing the right thing for humanity or whomever, and they end up going down a really dark path, and this guy did it to his own family. I don't want to bring up Project Overlord because it was horrible, but let's flesh out the conversation. After your intervention, the elusive Burnt to ashes, I hope. Another test subject. <gasps> Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. No. I bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. 
Okay, sweetie, you couldn't bear living through that nightmare. You were perfectly fine putting your brother through that nightmare until I stopped you. You couldn't bear living through that nightmare again. You did it. You weren't the one it happened to, sweetie. <laughs> like what? I hate when people do that. When they make other people's trauma their trauma. Like, <laughs> it was so terrible for me. You weren't the one who was tortured. You had control over the situation. Like, what? Well, I don't have anything else that I can say to him, thank goodness. I want this to be over. Um, bye. I have to go. No, I'm not <gasps> gonna pretend it was good to see you again. Ooh! I understand. But, Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. I've never heard her say I should go with that much anger before. Ooh, and he deserves it. What are you looking at, punk? Well, bye. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's over. Justice for David. Boop. Okay. Thank you. Oh, someone left ammo on the floor. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. Caden just astral projected. I didn't know you could do that, dude. Why didn't you tell me? Also, can you show me how to do that? Because that was pretty neat. Oh, weapon bench. Nah, I think I'm good. Oh, what's this? Assault rifle magazine upgrade. Yes. I'm here for the upgrade. Sorry, Edie. I just body checked you. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Did you guys really make Jacob walk up all these stairs? You guys need to put in like one of those, you know, staircases that goes on the railing in case people get shot. They're like, we're just trying to survive. Don't tell us what to do. Boop. Wow. Boop. Uh oh, there's an alarm going off. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. Hello. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. Oh. We're going to make it. Poor guy. It's okay. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. That's a lot. Pretty fancy covert op you orchestrated. When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't yes. possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? They brought their families. Um, I'm gonna ask why would I, why would you bring families to flesh out the conversation? But of course, if they're trying to go undercover and get to safety, they're not gonna leave their families behind, right? I mean, yeah, it does make the situation way more dangerous <laughs> for everybody involved. They wanted to save their families. Let's, let's ask. So those refugees brought everyone with them? Yes, we have about 17 kids here. Wow. Parents. Parents. These people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would. You do. No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. Yeah, we can't do anything about it now. We gotta get them out. And not one more lost. There's a lot on the line here. We can't let that distract us. I'm gonna say there's a lot on the line. This escape will have to be carefully executed. Mm hmm. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? <laughs> can't tell. Well, you know I can't fix it from here. Medical... No! Shuttle there a couple minutes ago. Medical Wait. attention! Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Dude! Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Dude! Uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. He needs medical attention and he wants to do the opposite of what he should be doing and climb on a roof? Jacob, common sense, my guy. <laughs> common sense. You're like bleeding out right now. Can someone take Jacob in a room and lock him in there so he doesn't bleed to death doing something he really shouldn't be doing? Let's talk to Bryn again. She's cool. Got a moment? It's about... Of course. <laughs> Jacob. You and Jacob. Okay, Shepard, now is not the time to be asking about people's relationship status, but I'm nosy. 
What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. Cerberus work. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Lots. Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. Okay. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. <laughs> it also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? I suppose so. Um, you escaped from Cerberus. I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. Nice. When our fourth colleague disappeared. We organized and were out the door in days. Disappeared. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. All right, tell me about your experiment. So, what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Okay. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. It is Cerberus, I'm not surprised. All right, well, I should let you focus. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. You're welcome. Later, Tater. Ooh, data pad. Boop. What's this one? Data pad. Personal log, Bryn Cole. With Jacob's help, we've managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were, in fact, killed. Contracts terminated, is what Cerberus called it. Makita, Scott, Daniel, Shanhei, Anika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace. Just like that. Sounds like Cerberus. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? Oh, she must feel guilty. It's like, it's so hard not to blame yourself sometimes for these things. Even though it's in no way her fault. All right, let's keep... Leave those things. Let's oh. just get the hell out of here. Calm down. Commander Shepard's here. Hi. So what? So relax. We've got a little time. I mean, don't... Don't lax on my part, man. Like, get your little butts in gear and get out of here. Shep, I'm in here. I'm willing to die to save this data. Let me. I'll purge it and meet you at the shuttle bay. What? I don't want to die. Go! Just go. No, no. What is I'm happening? Okay. Let's just do this. What's... What? Okay. Ooh, data pad. Personal log, Damini Sengupta. Attempts are ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it is obvious that the delivery system was to be implant reliant, with evident neurological applications, many questions remain as of yet unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong in particular is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole which lead us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out what said whole might be and that is what scares me the most. Oh dear. I told you that we should have gone to Sanctuary. Look, let's just what focus on getting out of here alive. Why did he care? Who knows? He's Excuse me, I'm just going to take this while you're talking. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> if Jim says we're going to be alright, I trust him. But my daughter, she's just a baby. She's just a baby. She's just a baby. Who's this guy? Hi, can I have that? Tyrion Toxin Data! Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Yes! I saw that in my journal earlier. Now I have the thing. Yes! It's like we're on the Titanic and it's sinking, and that guy's like, I have a child. God damn it, Marcus. You want the elusive man to find this stuff? God damn it, Marcus. That's why we ran. We can't just leave it for him. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, get it together. I'm in here. Where? Hello. Oh, whoa. What's this? Hi, Jacob. Hey. Wow, you're finally okay. sitting down. Good job. How have you been? <sighs> Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? 
Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. Okay. Um, it suits you. What about the war? I'm gonna be polite and say it suits you. you seem good. We look good. These are great people. He just got shot, Shepard, in the stomach. I think I found what I'm meant to do. Oh, good for him. You can, you can just end the conversation right there. Well, glad we had a chat. See you, dude. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring up your monstrous dad. Ever think about your father? You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. Oh, okay. Tell me about Dr. How long Cole. have you known Bryn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Shepard. <laughs> She's acting like her and Jacob had any kind of romantic history. I'm too curious. What's up with you and her? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this Oh. You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life, whatever's left of it. Nice. I find it interesting that this is the first time I've seen Jacob in a long time. Not only just in general, but also he just got shot in the stomach and he's bleeding profusely. And I'm asking him about his relationship. Like, that's, that's the priority here. I'm, I've come to get the important information. <laughs> I'm curious why Shepard is acting, with him in particular, acting like they had a relationship when I in no way romanced him. It's very interesting. All right, um, well, let's let's change the subject. How'd you end up here? What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. <laughs> so I quit Cerberus, I quit everything and sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. You sat on a beach? What did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better means something to me. That it comes from the heart. We can okay. You. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. <laughs> but you won't. You can't. <laughs> All right, well, um, now that we got this conversation out of the way with acting like we were an item at any point, when we definitely weren't, you got any Cerberus Thank intel? You know Cerberus I should know about? That would be the helpful. I became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. I think... You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up. <laughs> love to know how this all plays out. It's the... Right. It's the stereotype of hindsight is twenty twenty, right? When you're in a situation, when you're immersed in a workplace or a culture, like, it's really hard to see outside of it. So don't beat yourself up too much Jacob it is very hard to see things when you're actually in them you know a lot of times you get more of that clarity when you're not in the situation anymore and then you're kind of like how did I not see and in some cases you see what you want to see or you don't see what you don't want to see <laughs> you know it's a very human thing to do all right well uh I think that's everything I can ask I'm glad we had a chance to talk my dude I should focus on getting these people out of here so he's not coming you with got. us Let's get to it. I was wondering if Jacob was actually going to be able to come with us, but I guess he's found a place where he's happy and feels important. And that's what we all want. Good for you, Jacob. All right, back to whatever it is that we were doing. It is nice that he did some self-reflection and was like, I want to do something meaningful and not just be a Cerberus drone and follow orders. So good for him. All right, time to go. Boop. Oh. These people had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. A hastily assembled militia is no match for a service force of any kind. I mean, sometimes you have no other choice, right? It's like, you know it's probably not going to work out, you're probably going to die, but you want to escape. So <laughs> you're going to do what you can do, you know, with the resources that you have. It's, it's terrifying. All right, let's go. 
Oh, oh, oh. All right, kids. Oh, they disappeared. Well, guess I'm going this alone. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Kaden, did you teach Edie how to astral project? Love that for you guys. Ooh, what's this? Nice. Let's roll out. Do, do. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Let's headshot him. <laughs> Kaden, what are you doing? Kaden, I don't want to accidentally shoot you, my guy. Go on, Edie. Let's go. Yes. Let's get it. Woohoo. Oh, that, oh, that guy just exploded. <laughs> that guy just shattered. That was amazing. Up we go. This way direction. Hello. Get out of my way, fool. Oh, no. Oh! Let's get it. Boop. Activates the generator. Wee. What's this? Medkit. And this thing. Boop. Jacob, this should be back online now. Oh, there it goes. Your guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's go. Wee. <laughs> No! You jerk. Don't touch me. This way direction? Boop. Boop. Hello. Oh, don't touch me. Oh, I'm falling off. Oh, I'm falling off. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's go. Wee. Oh. Wee. Come on, kids. A gunfight will keep us warm. Get up there and Boom. Don't touch me, you're rude. Let's go. Can I get up here? Oh! Where are my squad mates? Oh, there you guys are. Jeez, they keep disappearing. <laughs> oh, we gotta go back up. All right, all right, this way. Let's go. Hello. Yee! Anyone up here who's going to shoot me? Oh, here we go. Wee! Up we go. Okay. Oh, 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 what's this? What's this? Med kit. Nice. Hey, gun control. Woohoo! Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Oh, oh, okay. Um, oh, who should I have make the repairs? Every time I have to pick someone to do something, I'm terrified it's going to be another Vermeer, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Can I send Jacob instead? Let's... Let's have Edie do it. Edie, I need you to fix this. I will make the repairs. Ready, Caden? Just you and me. Bring it on! Let's go, baby. You can do this, Edie. I believe in you, sweetie. Hello! Ooh, it's one of these guys. Ooh! Yeah, it's gonna be a no from me, dog. Charge! More time is required. Boom. Oh! Hello! Boom. Rude. Hello! <laughs> 
landing on top of me. That was amazing. He's like, blah. Oh, I'm dead now. <laughs> These slippery little suckers, get out of here. Boom. Rude as heck, rude as heck. Don't appreciate <laughs> Gotcha. I'm on. <laughs> that guy just flew. He flew. All right, let's go activate this one. Wee! Give me this. Boop. Yay, Edie! Clock clunk. We did it. Let's get it. Wee! Run! <laughs> Run! Quick! Boop. Activate. Nice. Guns operational. Got them guns, baby. Shepard, A guns are back online. Copy yeah. That. Let's get these people out of here. <laughs> okay, you didn't say we did it. Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Nice. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Now. Ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Ooh, okay. So I'm not really sure why we would wait to evacuate. If they're going to evacuate, they should evacuate right now, right? I don't have anything else I need to do here, so I'm going to say evacuate immediately. Right, let's get these shuttles in the air. Let's go. Let's get it moving. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Get out of here, kids. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Pew, pew. Oh, <laughs> snap. Oh. Save the children. Wee! And there was much rejoicing. All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh, you're kidding me. Where else are they going to come out of? We need you at the landing area to make sure they get away. Okay. Sure. Okay, I guess we go downstairs, right? Landing pad? Oh, they're outside. All right, we got to go downstairs. Let's go. <laughs> Run. Boop. Get out of my way. Let's go, people. Clear the Thank you, Caden. First so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Get out of here, you jerks. Rude as hell, and I don't appreciate all your sass. Okay, let me go. Oh, ooh. Ooh, you little snakes. Get out of my way! <gasps> Go on, Kaden. Go on, Edie. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here. Ooh! Run! Run! Jacob, come in. What's your status? Jerks. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. Get them out of there, Jacob. Come on, dude. Shoot them as they drop. Oh, sorry, Edie. Don't touch me. Let's go. Yes! 
We did it. We did it. We did it. Understood. Commander, we got company. Whoa, my God. Hello. Ooh, ooh, ouch. <laughs> He's a big boy. Hello. Die. Die. Oh, no, no, no. That's a no from me, dog. Yes, let's go. Thank you. Any time would be great. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Yes. Bye, Cerberus. Not today. Toodaloo. Oh, no, 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 no. You get on that shuttle right now. <laughs> Run, Shepard. Oh. Shepard. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Jacob, get on the shuttle. Get on the shuttle. Bye. Out by the skin of our teeth again, hey, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. <sighs> yeah, feels good. I was what about his gaping stomach wound? But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request, one that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. Yes. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. I don't think we asked Jacob. Me too, Jacob. Okay. <laughs> I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Why? I understand I'm disappointed. I'm gonna say why just to, to flesh it out. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. Yeah, he's found a place where he's happy. I hope you can see that. Let him do that. I understand. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Oh, thank you. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Okay. Be safe out there. Thank you, Jacob. Well, it looks like he's not coming back to the Normandy, so. Hackett here. Hi, Hackett. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. You're welcome. I, have the <laughs> I found They're them. Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. Hackett's like who? Valuable <laughs> asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. She's pretty awesome. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Bye-bye. Yay! Woo! We did it. We saved all the scientists that were left and their families. <laughs> and we got them out of there. We stuck it to Cerberus once again. Feels good. I feel like a few of the times we've run into older crewmates so far, I've had kind of an inkling, like, oh, I wonder if we'll see this person. This time I had no idea Jacob was going to be there. And he was still kind of underwhelming, but I'm happy for him that he's found a purpose and he has a place to stay and looks like he's not coming on the Normandy with us, um, but it's okay because it makes room for other people to be on the ship. It's really nice to be helping people that deflected from Cerberus too. Well, that was a cute little reunion. Let's see what we can do next. So we have this N7 mission, Cerberus fighter base. Let's read it. Admiral Hackett has requested assistance on a Cerberus fighter base on Novaria. We haven't been there in a minute. Land on Novaria to disable the base's defenses. Let's get it. Hey guys, I ran into Jacob. Do you remember him? You guys probably haven't met him before. Does anyone else remember <laughs> Jacob? <laughs> Boop. Cerberus seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the Collectors while the Council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Oh, how we've come full circle. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Okay. 
How are you? The scientists are safe with the Alliance. Yay! The thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. I think First so. Crucible Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how Good job, trainer. put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You turn it into a regular marine. <laughs> yes. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Okay, bye, trainer. Thanks for the intel. Appreciate you. <laughs> I want to go see if Joker and Edie have anything else to say. Because they're adorable. Hi, kids. All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians <laughs> rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! <laughs> the implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. <laughs> that joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Edie explaining jokes. Here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. Facts, Edie. Jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. I mean, people certainly do that. How's Jacob, Commander? Oh. I accidentally skipped the conversation about Jacob. Oh no. Commander. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, Jacob, I'm sorry. Hi, Edie. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only <laughs> occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy you could reach a place where one plus one equals She's doing this. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. I was just thinking about what I was going to have for lunch. Nice. All right, keep up the good work, kids. See ya. <laughs> I can't believe I skipped the conversation about Jacob. That was not intentional, I promise. We. All right, let's go... I believe he's in the crew quarters. Okay, let's go check in with Engineer Adams. Adams, you called. Repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission. She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an engineer, remember? Were oils and lubricants involved? Oh my god! Morning. In your dreams, Kenneth. If only my imagination was that good. Okay, Kenneth needs to like take it down a notch and chill out <laughs> like what anyways donnelly's a bit more like creepy in mass effect 3 it's it's kind of weird um all right let's talk to adams good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us oh nice great, brilliant much better than we expected i told you it would it gets better while interfacing through our ezo capacitors our miss daniels here had an epiphany oh I wouldn't go that far <laughs> she and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our nice. course is compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Yes. Well done, everyone. Yes, I leveled up. Good job, everybody. Proud of you. You know what? I think Caden might be on this floor. And this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. Oh, hi, Javik. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. <laughs> I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. 
Okay. Interesting. Boop. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. <laughs> Not many left. There was nowhere left to run. Oh man, that's heavy. There's a bunch of stuff on the floor here. Very interesting room decor. Bye, Javik. Boop. Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. I mean, you do stand up all the time. <laughs> Commander, Boop. I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? I mean, maybe? Bye. All right, let's go find Caden. There he is. Hey, dude. Hey. What's going on? You got a minute? I got several minutes for you, Jacob. Sure, Kaden. What's up? Kaden. You know, Sorry. I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay. Hit me with it. Hit me with so the best shot. They were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team. They seem like... Like good people. Mm-hmm. You know that. What do we do? I mean, what if there are more like them trapped inside Cerberus struggling to get out? I mean, that's a good question. What do you think? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many. The choice to leave someone behind. Until you're in that moment. I... <sighs> so, yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, I would think that if somebody wants to escape from Cerberus and we have the means to help them, why not? It's more people added to our cause. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. You can't help everybody, you can't save everybody, but you're trying. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, <laughs> they were good people. Oh, not this again. Professionals. I didn't know them all. I was unconscious. Man. Was he a good person? Once. Ever. Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right. Exactly. But so you never saw this coming from them. From him. Oh no, I saw Sorry. it coming. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I'm not sure either. I was looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. I mean, it is complicated. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that... That's a very different thing. I mean, I was suspect this, of yeah. him from day one, so... I never saw this coming from him. I saw it coming? <laughs> really? Okay. Well, I'm not shocked at all. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should well, find then. a way to take your mind off things. Really? I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. <laughs> Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Oh, he's gonna bond with the boys. Cute. I feel like Caden is somebody who's like, go, 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 doing the thing. And then when he finally stops and sits down, it dawns on him that he hasn't actually processed anything that's happening, <laughs> like what he's feeling. It's interesting seeing him like seemingly navigating these things for the first time. It's like when he's alone with his thoughts, he realizes like, oh, things are complex. I would go and talk to Liara, but she never has anything to say to me. Are you so, sure you want to play this game? I was gonna go say What's hi to Karis. You chicken? I don't even know what that is, though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. <laughs> Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. I feel like a referee Please, right I now. I up a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. <laughs> you're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. Oh. That just means you're old. 
Oh my god, James! You have respect for Garrus. What is wrong with you? Hi, Garrus. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. I mean, this that's a good thing. Him. Right? Hi, James. Hey, Commander. Hi, you better have some respect for my hey, boy Commander. Garrus, okay? Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Oh, <laughs> these two are getting into it. I love it. Hey, it's this guy. Yay! <laughs> Still think you can win this, huh? Oh, they're still going. I can do this all day, Scars. Scars. Those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. Do you know who you have? <laughs> I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did the <laughs> house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. <laughs> Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. I had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks. That's almost impressive. Worm necks. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. No. The Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, <laughs> or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. It's a gift. Oh my God, these two. Hi, Garrus. Later. Later, I'm getting into it with my boy James here. I'm gonna do a circle and come back and see if there's more. I'm gonna go see Dr. Chocolates, then come back and see if there's more. Hello. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. Okay. You should be able to find him near the docks. Thank you, darling. Oop. You've been through a lot, Scars. There we go. You're giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Okay. James. Yeah. <laughs> We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. <laughs> Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass <laughs> Marine named Jimmy Vega. He sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Oh my god! My nerves. <laughs> but the kid was all right. Oh. And together they cured the genophage. Oh my god. And from taking over the citadel. And finally kicked the reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. <laughs> but mostly me. Okay. Boys, you're cute. <laughs> Aw, they're becoming friends. Hi, Liara. Toss someone across the room as a decent attention. Oh, they are in Caden chatting. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can have She has a point. Fight now, Leah. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Uh, well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Aww. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Aww. Hello, Liara. Ready for the next mission? Ready for the next mission? <laughs> yes, honey. I'm ready for the next mission. Nice chatting to you. Okay, anyways, here's a list of recent purchases by Zaid. <laughs> That's a lot of ammo, weapons, field rations, bulk metagel. Oh, Zaid. Ooh, email from Jacob to Bryn. Let's snoop, shall we? Let's take a look. <gasps> Ooh. Let's get the hot goss. I miss you, Bryn, but I'm glad you're back there. The fighting's going to get tough when we push out with the Crucible. I've gotten the cold shoulder from people who know I used to work for Cerberus. Can't say I blame them, especially after what happened on the Citadel. I've been able to teach other soldiers how Cerberus fights, though. They may be wearing new equipment, but I know their tactics. I love you, Bryn. Take care of yourself. So did they get separated, I wonder? Okay, well, bye, right sweetie. Mission. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Boop. Ooh, what I get? Intact Reaper weapon. Ooh. The barrel of this Reaper weapon can be dismantled for further study. If the miniaturized energy cells powering the gun systems are taken apart, it could lead to improvements in the damage a weapon can deal. However, an examination of its heat venting systems could instead provide the means to maximize thermal clip storage. Ooh, we can increase weapon damage or ammo capacity. Ooh, which one? I feel like I've done a few damage bonuses recently, 
in my upgrade, so I'm going to increase my capacity. Galay's electronic signature, Matriarch Galay was an Asari of some importance with connections to Asari High Command and the Council itself. Her electronic signature can be used once before security protocols realize it has been activated by someone else. Galay's contacts can open elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers or on behalf of the Asari at Embassy grant someone a discount at all Citadel stores. I think I'm gonna do power damage. <laughs> yeah. That seems way more useful. Yay! Thank you. Bye, Liara. Love you, sweetie. Kisses. Please enjoy your day. Bye, Glyph. All right, kids, we're going back to Novaria. It's been a minute. Let's get it. Boop. Dun, 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 dun. Wee! And away we go. All right, Novaria, where are you? The only ones I see flashing are Serpent Nebula and... Oh, this is the one. Horsehead Nebula. There we go, Cerberus Fighter Base. Boop. Hello, Novaria. Nice to see you again. Ah, Novaria. So many memories. Such a long mission. <laughs> All right, who should we take on this one? I'm like, because these two went to Novaria before, or they were in the OG crew, should we do like Garrus and Liara? I am very tempted to keep the bromance going and bring Garrus and James. <laughs> Maybe Liara and Garrus, since we're going to Novaria. Just like old times, have a couple of the OG crew. Liara. Garrus. I forgot this is where Liara's mum died. Maybe I shouldn't bring Liara? Oh, I feel like a jerk now. Oh no, I did bring Liara to kill her mum, so... You know what, maybe it'll be healing for Liara to, to come back to this place. I might regret this. Let's bring, let's just bring her. <laughs> Shepard now has nine points. I'm going to fully level up Shockwave. Rank 6 has increased recharge speed by 40%. Suspend targets in the air for a short time. I'm gonna increase the recharge speed. Yes, please. Garris me boy has 10 points. I'm going to fully level up Turian Rebel. Rank 6 has increased power damage of squad mates by 10% or increased sniper rifle damage by 60%. Oh, I'm doing that one. 60%? Definitely. Wow. That's huge. Liara, my darling, has six points. I'm going to fully level up pure biotic. Rank 6 has increased recharge speed of all squad mate biotic powers by 10% or increased recharge speed of Liara's singularity by 100%. I'm going with the second one. Yep. Boop. All right, my darlings, we're going back to Novaria. Who's excited? Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. Hooray. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for our frontal assault. Okay. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Okay. Good luck, Commander. I have visual Thank contact. You. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. Thank you, Cortez. I can you there, but it's got to be now. Let's, Let's do it. it. Let's go. I'm ready. Here we go. Commander, you'll have to find the command center to take down their defenses. Sounds good. Oh, command center. Hello, do you all mind? We're trying to get things done and you're very much in the way. Come on out! Boom! Hi. Boom! Bye bye, ta ta. So. What's over meow? Hello, everybody. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, rip to that guy. Garrus, Liara. You guys chill. Oh my god. Ooh, hello. 
Hello. <laughs> I thought that guy was dead, then his body was like flailing around. On the double. Let's go, Kidly Wings. Oh. Rude. Excuse you. Hi. Ho, ho, ho! Goodbye, Tata. Oop. Looks like we found the control center. Nice. Oh, data pad. We got some credits. Ooh, what's this? Security console. Boop. This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. So Hooray! Get those defenses down ASAP. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who should I assign to this? Um. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I could have some like one-on-one -on -one time with my girlfriend in combat. All right, Garrus, you're up. Make it quick. On it. Go on, Garrus. Be ready, Commander. You're gonna get swarmed. Sick. Love it. I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. Good. Get out of there, Cortez. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Uh oh. Don't touch my girlfriend. Just bring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. Boom. Blarg. Holy crap. Shepard, it takes two to authorize shutdown. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, Garrus. Quick. Boop. Defense system deactivated. General order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Let's clear the landing pad. Let's go. Large scale deployment to the landing pad, Shepard. Hi. Oh! Get out of there. We're getting swarmed. They weren't kidding. Don't touch my girlfriend. Oh, those guys flew. Bye bye. Oh no! Yay for my shoddy. It's okay, Cortez. We believe in you. Woo! Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Oh no. Shepard, look out. Give it everything you got. Oh no 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 no. Ooh! Atlas! Can I charge it? I can! Woohoo! So fun! <laughs> bye bye, Tata. Anyone wounded? Just okay. the usual minor flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. Good job, Cortez. Appreciate you. Nice. We did it. A major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Hooray. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we mm. won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Hooray. Your team, they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. Very nice. Perfect. I don't know why I thought Neveria was going to be more involved, but I guess we weren't going through the tunnels, so to speak, you know. <laughs> Let's check our war terminal before we close out. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, we have the Volus bombing fleet that we got earlier. Volus prefer air power in conflicts, counting on the Turians for ground support. They maintain several flotillas of heavy bomber frigates capable of warfare in any atmosphere. 
Okay, we got the Batarian fleet, begrudgingly, but we got it. <laughs> the once formidable Batarian navy was all but annihilated when the Reapers struck Karshan. The enraged survivors have gathered into a single remaining fleet. Batarian refugees are enlisting by the thousands, desperate for a sense of purpose after the destruction of their homeworld. No collection of vessels is more eager to engage the Reapers than Karshan's last warships. As the highest ranking officer left in the hegemony, Balak is now the last Batarian military leader. His leadership drive and barely contained fury have galvanized his troops. While Balak bears a deep hatred for the Alliance, he would do anything to save his people and has grudgingly joined forces with humanity to stop the Reapers. And then, last but not least, Batarian refugees are rallying around the pillars of strength, finding courage in the sacred ancient artifacts recovery. All right, we have new alliance entries, rogue fighter pilots. When humanity began to expand its borders, experienced pilots were needed to establish colonies in the uncharted reaches of space. Some alliance personnel heeded the call, and these luckless men and women have since been driven out of their colonies by the invading reapers. After speaking with Lieutenant Steve Cortez, a few of these highly skilled fighter pilots agree to fly against the enemies who destroyed their homes. Hell yes. Zaid <laughs> Gadem is back. Zaid Masani has a reputation as one of the most relentless and efficient mercenaries in the Terminus systems. Cerberus contacted Masani a few months after the collectors were destroyed and offered him a job. Negotiations ended badly, and Masani now seeks out jobs that oppose his former employer's interests. He brings years of experience and finely honed survival skills to the fight against the Reapers. Not to mention fists of fury we have the asari commandos we have samara oh we have crucible updates let's see optimize ezo capacitors very nice and we have x cerberus oh wow okay we've got advanced fighter squadron we have the x cerberus scientist who we just rescued dr bryn cole who is awesome we have Dr. Gavin Archer. Hooray. We don't want him, but I guess he's there. Uh, we have Jacob. Hooray. <laughs> that is everything we have. Hooray. We are making very good headway. I'm very pleased. This is where Rex used to stand and I miss him. Rexy poo. Oh, excuse you. Rude. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted to kick ass, just like everyone else. But I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. And if Cerberus- It is has scales. Charges ...and Cat-6 washouts, it's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. Okay. You've got new messages, Commander. Oh, thank you, Trainer. Let's check our email really quick before we end for the day. Crucible update from Bryn Cole. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group out of that facility on Gellix. You're welcome. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance, I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Sincerely, Dr. Bryn Cole. Oh, Jacob followed through on his request to get drinkies. What does he have to say? Hey, Shepard, this Crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got time, want to meet me there? Things were so crazy on Galax. It'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know? Hope to see you around. Jacob. You know what? I just had a thought. You know how I've been joking that Cerberus is everywhere like cockroaches? Wouldn't it be messed up if they had this large scale plan of making the Alliance think that a bunch of people have deflected from Cerberus, but really what they're doing is sending a bunch of Cerberus people to infiltrate us in order to like get all our intel and manipulate us and bring us down? Wouldn't that be awful? Like, part of me was like, oh, great, all these people are deflecting. And then I just had the thought, wait, what if it's all one big plan by the elusive man? Oh, no, I hope that doesn't end up being true. I'm sure it won't, but I wouldn't put it past the elusive man. I really wouldn't. Well, 
I think it's time for us to wind down for the day. I'm really glad we got a few things done on the Citadel today. It's nice that I forgot I was on the Citadel because I inadvertently ended up taking care of a few things that I may have had to come back and do later. I'm glad we got to save those scientists. I was not expecting to run into Jacob today. That was hilarious. No clue. Didn't know he was going to be there. I'm happy for him that he's found a new place to be. I'm wondering, because Jacob didn't come back on the Normandy with us, who is going to? Because Thane's room is still empty. We haven't run into Tali, Legion. We also ran into Zaid, which I also wasn't expecting. It was hilarious. He seems to be doing just fine, doing his thing, doing his goddamn Zaid thing. Good for him. Um, he helped me out with a mission, and I really appreciate that. He's now joined our cause against the elusive man. I think next time, ever since that priority mission came up that's with the Corians, I've been wanting to beeline straight to it. I loved going to see the Corians. We went to their homeworld for the first time, and we still haven't seen Tali. We still haven't seen Legion. I'm just so curious. Like, I'm hoping that Tali will be there. Um, but I, I have to do this priority mission. I have to do it. I do think that before we do the mission, I'm probably going to scan a bunch of stuff to see if I can pick up things to turn into the Citadel later, since we had a bunch of stuff open up. Yay, but I'm really excited next time to go do this priority mission with the Corians. I don't know what to expect, but I am crossing my fingers that maybe we'll run into Tali. But we'll see. Thanks so much for joining me for Mass Effect 3. If you're enjoying this playthrough and want to see more, go ahead and let me know by hitting the thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button on your way out so you can be notified when new videos go up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.